So today we're going to talk about the proper methods of taking a forage sample when hay testing. The first thing we have to consider is how big is our lot of hay. A single lot is a single cutting at a single field in a single time point. So we have one lot of hay here that's representation of what we are going to be sampling today. Now when we are taking our forage sample, the first thing we want to make sure that we don't do is walk up and take a grab sample. A grab sample is simply grabbing one single location out of the field. If you take this forage to a forage analysis, it is only going to give you what the quality is in this handful of forage. We want to have a representation of what happened in the entire field. So when taking a sample, we're going to recommend that you go to the face or the side of the bell. We recommend going towards the center of the bell and taking a hay corer and coring into the center of the bell. By doing this, you hit multiple windrows or multiple locations within the field, which will be more representation of what area that bell came from. Also, when we're taking a, a sample from a lot of hay, we're gonna randomly select 15 bells out of this single lot, which will then give us, when combined, a representation of what's happening in the entire field. So when taking a forage sample, we recommend using a drill type corer. This hay corer will be able to go in and get a good representative sample all the way through the bell and will give you a good representation of what is in this forage. We're also going to recommend having on hand a Ziploc bag that go ahead and have your information for the lot of hay uh, that you are sending off. Now Lisa is going to demonstrate how we take a hay sample. Okay, after she pulls this core, she is then going to empty the contents into our Ziploc bag. And as I mentioned, we'll get 15 cores that you will then mix together and you will send this sample in to your lab. A lot of the variations that we see with incorrect analysis or quality numbers when they come back start at the sampling stage. So a few things that we want to consider, as I mentioned, don't take a grab sample or a single location. Don't only use a single core. That's only one hay bale in that lot. Don't put your forage in this bag, not mix it up, and only use a, a small area. And don't throw this on a dashboard and leave it there for about a week before you send it in for your lab analysis. So now that you know how to take a forage analysis, I encourage you to work with your local producers and your growers in your county to enter them in the 2019 Southeastern Hay Contest. Be sure that you're there to take their analysis for them. Uh, send those samples into the UGA FU lab. And if you need inf more information, visit our website at sehaycontest.com. Thanks.